Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be providing you a master guide on how to play Vantage. So let's get into it. Now let's cover Vantage's passive ability. The passive ability highlights, and you'll notice whenever you put your gun away, is you can ADS and you'll have a icon that says no target. The beauty of this passive, let's say if you were to ping an enemy, we have one here, it pings their armor. It'll say and you hear Vantage say out loud, Seer, it won't say Seer, but it'll say level 3 armor, wrapped in level 3 armor, and you'll see a squad of 3. This is very helpful information before you push. The beauty behind this is at least you know, there you go, I just wanted you to hear it again, that you know what you're pushing into before you actually get involved with your opponent. Because then you'll know, looking at your armor, I have white armor, this isn't worth the push. Now, if you had a 3 times magnification or higher, this is a 1 by 2 you'll notice that the icons don't appear so you have to be able to have that but this information is really really vital and it can help you also kind of sur survey the land from a distance just in case you miss it now it does pick up even further away you'll notice that it drops off after a certain distance if you're using a four by eight or a six time magnification it'll actually pick them up around this distance a three times magnification does have a point where it does stop as well but it is vital and it's important to give that information to your squad normally whenever you're with your squad you'll damage them and say they have blue armor and you'll ping who they are but you can do that with vantage by just calling it out and giving the information to your teammate and say you know what guys we're not going to fight this we're going to rotate let's get out just like that team that we see in front of now just for an additional note i want to highlight with the two times magnification that you do see the targets if you do want to run that two time magnification you can also run into the car smg just in case you run into a weapon loadout that isn't necessarily a sniper let's say you're using the flight line you're using an uh, smg but you want to be able to provide that information to your team without having to ads without a gun out just a friendly reminder for all advantages as well is that if you don't have anybody in your team that can hit beacons always make it within your loot rotation to be able to hit the beacon for your team that information is extremely vital so don't forget to do it so now let us break down vantage's tactical ability so the biggest thing is that you can put echo out echo goes about let's say 40 meters and you could back up to around 50 before echo starts to move you'll see echo start to move just a little bit here in just a second or about like 55 give or take but echo will start to follow once you back up a little bit this can be good for setup and most vantages don't do this by the way the reason why you don't want to have echo out is that there is a bug that still actually is oddly in the game and hopefully by the time let's say a year from now maybe a few months uh, maybe they'll finally fix this but if echo does sit out and if a team is really far away you probably have always noticed that little like orange line that you'll see between walls and the reason why is that echo is present in that area now that's the reason why i always put echo away it would be really nice to put echo in locations for setup in case you need to use echo later later but the downside again if you do that is the the chance that another team from far away can see it and they can see it from quite a bit of distance away now echo can get you quite a distance away so we're going to go to ping this and we're going to showcase some of that distance here if we fly away without the setup it goes about 30 meters if you look there at the ping, we went about, let's give or take 56, 55 meters out. If you do the setup, you can get a little bit more distance, which is helpful. But most of the time, what individual players do is that they'll just hold Q out and use Echo as fast as humanly possible to avoid putting that that animation of setting up Echo. If you look at the bottom left, you'll notice as well that there is no timer that you see for Echo because Echo can be put out at any which point in time. And then of course you can, you know, recall and then keep queuing in different locations of where you want Echo to be. You know, reposition there, reposition there, anything you want to do in that regard. Great setup, great stuff, but again, warning, 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 warning. I can't stress this enough. Just make sure not to keep Echo out because of that red line that you see. At some point, we'll see the bug is fixed and you'll have to worry about it anymore. But again, I just want to, I, I, I can't stress enough how many times I have third party teams just because Vantages refuse to put Echo away. And it, it, I really feel bad for teams that do that. Now, the biggest thing that's helpful with Echo and I want to highlight is the amount of distance that you can get. So I'm going to use the side of this building. We're going to just shoot ourselves all the way right up. You'll notice how far distance that you can you can gain just by throwing yourself up to height that's where the power of vantage comes in no pun intended where you get your advantage is by taking height and so on i want to highlight it at the bottom left of the timer there is that there is no timer but you'll see the bar is filled up once the bar is completely filled up which will be done in about a few seconds here you'll notice that boom echo is back and ready to be used again so that cooldown timer i like to call vantage the walmart pathfinder because the beauty is that the timer does come off cooldown quite quickly and you're able to get away from teams and just keep flying away and when you're up on the queue you can spin in one big circle and you don't have to worry about it and you can choose when you would like to propel yourself you have only a limited amount of time to do it be careful when you do it because you are pretty much a free shot and just 
know which way you're going to go afterwards so if you want to stop from pushing that team let's say and then reconfigure yourself and say okay i need to back up those vantages say you did a bit of damage you keep forward like oh that's not a good idea and you just kind of get yourself out and then slide forward and then bunny hop around the corner a great way to use some of that mobility now you're probably curious and asking the question of when do i use echo then well the best answer let's say if there's a team in this building and you want to take height is you take height immediately now another tip so you don't have to use the tactical afterwards to propel yourself forward you can hold crouch like i did there you can hold crouch while you're in the air and slow yourself this gives you a little bit more control especially if you're trying to shorten your jump and you need to get on the ground as fast as humanly possible that's a great way to do it rather than having to propel yourself in the air and waste more time in case somebody was trying to climb up on you and you can get the the counter uh back on them and try to win that fight and encounter so a little good tip there as well now if we were also talking about what do you do in terms of a push let's say you were to crack somebody and they ran into the building but you want to cover that ground the best thing you do is start to push yourself forward let's say you want to take the side of this entrance in here and you heard them batting now you get the flank on them and then boom you cover that ground just remember just like pathfinder the downside of doing this if you push in and you don't have any damage done you're really playing a little bit too aggro for your team and you're going to be making a mistake and you're going to get beamed down for it. you're going to get punished no pathfinder or octane or any one of those other legends will ever push or should ever push without any damage done you play aggro once you have the damage advantage so what does that mean is let's say you're running a blue armor and they're running white you crack them for 60 damage you should go in on that fight why not just make sure not to get caught out just realize whenever you're pushing yourself forward like this how much of a sitting duck you are no gun out 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 and then you finally land you gotta wait and you also want to get in the habit of putting away echo once you land as well again for the same tip so people don't have information against you i always make it a habit to put echo away the minute i land and that has always helped the team out immensely avoided third parties and if you are advantage you will realize how much that it's a uh, it's been detrimental to your gameplay so now the quick tip when do i know to use echo to get away the answer is pretty simple let's say two of your teammates went down they got blasted one by a kraber one got one clipped and then you got cracked well it's time to get out of dodge you put echo you fly away sometimes it's best to try to curve it try not to hit geometry like you saw there and just keep sliding down and then put echo away because otherwise they're going to keep chasing because they know where you went and then wait for echo to cold come back online pretty much Again, you can put them down, but I wouldn't do it. And then just keep cutting the angles and cutting the corners. And because of that, it's very hard to catch advantage, especially one that knows how to time their cooldown and knows not to, to hit big stuff in the way. And they just keep flying forward. It's virtually impossible to catch one. It's like trying to catch a Octane or trying to catch a Pathfinder. They're both equally as strong. Again, picture advantage as Walmart Pathfinder. When you take height and you take those angles and you're taking those different positionings. I mean, just making this guide myself, it makes me just want to play Vantage because I find Vantage very underrated and it provides a lot of value to the team just from the passive and to the tactical ability. And we haven't even begun to talk about the ultimate ability which we're going to break down here in just a second so let's go to talk about that now now what makes vantage such an interesting legend is the ability to have a long range loadout even if you're not running a sniper if you notice our loadout for today is going to be the flat line and the car smg the car smg can switch over to light so it gives it the flexibility of switching over to various weapons now the biggest step we can provide with the ultimate is just remember that there is a clunky animation that has to happen every time you'll notice that timer isn't as fast as let's say pulling out a normal sentinel the other tip as well is that whenever you have your sniper out there's a gigantic red laser that is pointing at the opponent you never want to just keep this open and just like stare at an enemy team you'll notice it's a 3x and it's also an eight times magnification so you want to be careful when you're doing that you don't necessarily just want to stare because once they see the laser they're never going to peek now if you do hit somebody you do get a damage bonus increase on the opponent now, when you hit an opponent with your ultimate, it'll hit that target and last for 10 seconds. It'll apply a damage buff for 15 seconds to your opponent. This is important as it'll help you identify with your teammate who you want to focus fire. If your team is lacking the ability to focus fire an opponent, Vantage is great for your team to help say, focus this individual, get this person down, especially if they're crossing out in the open, if they're peeking too long, they're making a mistake. And most individual players, once you hit them with the ultimate, they will not re-peek again. They'll wait until that sniper's mark is gone. And if they do re-peek, they're going to take a significant amount of damage bonus because of that. So Vantage is great for creating those openings specifically when it comes to utilizing her ultimate ability. Now there is a tip that you can provide if you want to use her sniper's ultimate ability to stave off teams let's say that the zone is closing towards us here and you would like to let a team know that you're looking at them and they want to cross over from let's say this point to this point sometimes it's not a bad idea to keep that sniper's mark out 
because they know if they cross, there's a big warning flag that they're there. It's good to have teams rotate to other directions and where you want to corral them to. So if you're able to corral an opponent into a different direction, it's not a bad idea to keep that sniper's mark out and let the team know that you are aware. We call this posturing up. We call this maintaining space. We call this many different things. Uh, any pro will use a different language and what it means to stave off a team, to gate, to make sure, hey, we're here. You don't belong here. So if you're going to do that, be very mindful of that. If you're trying to keep a low profile, then you don't want to ADS. What you want to do is ADS like we did with the passive earlier for information. And I see this big mistake that most vantages make is trying to ADS with their, uh, with their sniper. So don't do that. Now, what's also interesting about vantages abilities is that you can see in the bottom right, whenever, if the passive as well applies to the sniper or not, you see that in the bottom right and you'll see it apply to the ultimate ability here. So a bit of a passive tip as well if it applies to your sniper, which it naturally is going to. Now, another tip is that the bullets are a little larger than your average bullet, so it's something to keep mindful of. You do get five of them. They do recharge pretty quickly. What I want to give another tip to provide to you is let's say you have an ultimate accelerant. You'll notice that it's not using it whenever I switch to my ultimate. What you need to do is go to your inventory and you click on that ultimate accelerant and it'll provide you your bullets for you. Now it'll charge pretty quickly over time, just be mindful of it. Vantage really has a really strong ability at the start of the round, once she gets the first bullet to create an opening damage, specifically if they have white or blue armor. So really capitalize on that and make sure your advantage is using their sniper to their best of their ability. Now another tip I can provide, let's say you you, you want to run a sniper yourself. This is a tip that most people don't really think about. That's probably of that like that high level. Let's say you're running a longbow, you're running a charge rifle, or you're running another sniper. And let's say you just, you know, you're not necessarily playing super aggressive, you're just kind of holding. But at the same time, what you want to do is create an opening. Let's say you hit him with the sniper's mark, and then you switch over to your secondary weapon that happens to be a sniper, and you shoot. The thing is that if you put away your sniper, you're not having that big red laser there, but you are holding a sniper still in your inventory. So if you switch away immediately, they think that you're not looking anymore, and sometimes they'll re-peak that same angle. And if you do that, you get the damage buff. So if you're using a Sentinel and it hits for 70 and you get that 15% more damage, well then, you know, it's going to look pretty good. So keep that in mind. Just because there is no reason to necessarily run a sniper, you can use it as a, a bait and switch. It can be a very, very powerful tool when you're trying to stave off teams or create an opening angle for your teammates. Now, a tip to make sure that advantages don't make those mistake is that everyone knows how many bullets are with an advantage round. You got five, if you're taking your shots and somebody is counting, they'll realize when they can push again. The timing of getting those bullets back is a total of 40 seconds. If you want to get all of those bullets, well, it's going to take probably around three minutes and 20 seconds to get them all back. And so that's quite a large amount of time, which is why some people will run a sniper as well so they can keep that pressure up. But of course, once you've already landed that many bullets, I hope that you've done at least some damage to make a push. So be smart about your pushes. Be very mindful of when you're shooting because somebody on the other side is going to be counting your bullets. So if you want to counter advantage and they're sniping, count how many times they've shot. If they've shot probably about three times, it means that they've at least probably exhausted half their bullets. And it might be okay to peek at that point. Advantage's cooldown with Echo, as a reminder, is 20 seconds. I know we didn't really say that before, but one mistake I also see Vantage players do, and you can do this stop, is if you lose LOS of Echo, you no longer can use your tactical ability. So I want to highlight that here just to make sure you don't make that mistake. You can also use it to your advantage in case you don't want to use it. There has been some movement tank that you can use specifically when healing, but it's very niche that you can throw Echo down on the ground and then use your tactical while healing afterwards to gain yourself some mobility and movement. I'm not sure, really sure if that's been removed. I don't think I have ever really seen anybody use it because it does require that you take damage. And if you're taking damage, it probably means you're going to end up losing a fight because you're busy trying to do movement rather than trying to dish out damage back. So that's usually my take on that. Specifically when you're playing at high tier lobbies, going from above, let's say, Diamond Masters and predator level lobbies as well that pretty much wraps up everything with vantage hopefully you guys all found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys all in the next video